Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I bring you a fighting game on the Sega Saturn that has chainsaws and flamethrowers. This is Final Fight Revenge. Hey. Final Fight is better known as a series of side-scrolling beat-em-ups from Capcom, but here we have a 1999 or 2000 release for the Japanese Sega Saturn, Final Fight Revenge, which is a fighting game. And a somewhat interesting one. Before you hit the buy button on eBay, watch the gameplay for a bit, because Final Fight Revenge is, in my opinion, not one of Capcom's better fighting games, but it is different, and it's definitely wacky and has a good sense of humor. Ah, good old Poison. No relation to the band. She's actually one of the better fighters in the game. And I think it's no coincidence that her name is Poison, since she's basically a walking venereal disease that attacks enemies by chomping on their neck. It's a cake. She's a winner. One of the main features in Final Fight Revenge is that when you start each round, there's weapons laying on the ground that you can pick up and then attack your opponent with. But most of them aren't terribly useful. And it's easy to get distracted by the weapons. Pretty am quick. Your special attacks are far more powerful than any of the knives, swords, guns, flamethrowers, or chainsaws in this game, and that's kind of ridiculous, because really the flamethrower and chainsaw should win every time. The biggest issue for me here isn't the questionable weapons and the mechanics there, it's, it's the gameplay itself, which isn't nearly as smooth as most of the other Capcom fighting games. But we do get this. Poison stuns enemies by showing them a greatest hits collection of her slutty behavior. Wow. And here we get the rocket launcher, which is possibly the least effective weapon in the game. So what we've got here is a unique 3D fighting game on the Sega Saturn with a weapons system that's best avoided. Don't even waste your time picking them up, just go straight for your opponents and pull off special moves. That does far more damage. I don't think Final Fight Revenge plays as well as Capcom's other fighting games like X-Men Children of the Atom, Darkstalkers, or Cyberbots. But it does have character, so I've got to give it credit for that. Obviously, you can play one or two player locally. And this is a Japanese exclusive released pretty late in the Saturn's life, 1999-2000. The Dreamcast was out by then. So I guess it's no surprise this one never made it to the West. This gun may be the only one that's worth picking up in the game. What's really disappointing is that the flamethrower doesn't do enough damage and the chainsaw is too slow. <laughs> How do you block a chainsaw? His arms should be on the ground. They need to go back and, and redo this one. There's so much potential here. It's like they pulled the plug before the game was finished or something. And the best part of it is that this is one of these games like Radiant Silver Gun, which is unbelievably expensive, probably because it's rare. I love the thriller video recreation or the Teen Wolf dance here. Good stuff. And I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you to send to George from McKee's Rocks outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you, George. It was nice meeting you last year. Thanks for handing Final Fight Revenge and Cyberbots to the show. Oh yeah, the shotgun's not too bad either. That's uh, one of the guns worth picking up. The fact is, given the price, I would, I would avoid this one. There's better fighting games on the Saturn which are far more affordable, unless you're looking to collect for rarity or play something which is really different. 
in which case, Final Fight Revenge is there for you. Although, I would stick with Final Fight on the Sega CD. What a man! You know it. This one has its moments. It's Final Fight Revenge. Thanks again, George. See you next time.